Hey beautiful people, if you want to learn how to sew a fly extension, also known as a zipper fly, we'll keep watching this video. If you'd like to slow this video down or speed it up, then definitely follow the following instructions. The first thing I'm doing here is laying out my pattern paper and I'm drawing a vertical line. I am matching up my zipper to measure and mark the length. This is an 8 inch zipper that I'm using here. Next I'm drawing a horizontal line out from that vertical line to create the basis for a rectangle and I'm drawing another vertical line 2 inches away and another vertical line two inches away once more. I'm extending that horizontal line and drawing another vertical line two inches away from the last one. Now I'm measuring and marking one inch from the bottom of that vertical line and using my French curve to draw a curved line at the bottom there, which should resemble a J meaning the letter J. Now I'm labeling my pattern pieces. This one that I'm labeling, we should cut two pieces of this and I'm gonna call it fly piece B. And then this other pattern, I'm cutting only one piece of this and it's gonna be folded and I'm calling that fly piece A. I'm cutting the pieces from the pattern paper. And make sure that when you're cutting from your pattern paper, you're using paper scissors and not fabric scissors. With that being done, this is how the pattern will be folded. This is how the garment piece will be folded when it's cut from the pattern. So these two pieces can be used for shorts, pants, skirts, anything that's gonna have a zipper fly. So now what I'm doing is cutting out two front pieces for shorts and this pattern piece here is from my elastic waistband shorts pattern video. If you want to check that out so you can make elastic waistband shorts for yourself, click the video in my description as well as in the cards up top. Now that I have two shorts pieces for the front of these mock shorts that I'm going to be making, the first thing I'm going to do in order to actually put these shorts together is to take one piece of fabric and I'm using African print here and I'm placing my fly piece A on this, pinning it into place and cutting it from the fabric. I am using this African print because I want you guys to be able to see very clearly exactly what I'm doing in this video. So that's how it's going to be folded and I'm taking a second piece of fabric, folding that in half so I have two layers of fabric and I'm pinning fly piece B to this fabric and cutting around the edges of the pattern. So now we have three pieces. These are gonna be our fly extension pieces and I am cutting pelon interfacing to go on each of those pieces. And then I'm ironing those pelon interfaces to the wrong side of my fly pieces. Make sure that the sticky, bumpy part of your pelon is what you press onto the wrong side of the fabric fold fly piece a into half and press along the edge this is how it should look now i'm putting my two pieces for fly piece b right sides together and i'm stitching a quarter inch along the curved edge from top to bottom making sure that i back stitch And for fly piece A, I'm folding that in half, but right sides together 
and I'm stitching a quarter inch along one end of my fold. Here I'm snipping away the corner of that edge just to make sure that when I turn it out the corner will be smooth and for fly piece B I am clipping around the curved edge to make sure that I have a nice smooth curve when I turn this piece out. With that done I have two fly pieces. On the left we have fly piece A and on the right we have fly piece B. On fly piece A I'm putting the zipper with the teeth facing upwards on the raw edge and I'm stitching along the zipper teeth using my regular presser foot. Be sure to back stitch at the beginning and the end. Now I'm taking the right side of my zipper and putting it right sides together with the right side of my shorts and I'm stitching along the edge there where I just stitched. Again, I'm using my regular presser foot and I'm back stitching at the beginning and the end. Now I'm turning my fly piece away from the shorts and I'm going to stitch along the edge of that seam to keep the fly piece to the right. So that's a top stitch. Make sure that you're using the correct color thread, a color thread that matches your shorts. And then I'm placing the raw edge of piece B in line with the raw edge of the left side of the shorts and stitching them together with a quarter inch allowance. Now I'm turning the fly piece around to the wrong side of the fabric and here you have the option to top stitch right away or you could top stitch later on. What I'm doing right now is placing the left side of my shorts on top of the right side of my shorts just enough to make sure that the top stitch on the right side of my shorts are hidden. Now I'm pinning the zipper into place and I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch along where I pinned again using a regular zipper foot. And now I can top stitch along the edge of the left side of my shorts. Like I said, you could have done this earlier if you wanted to. That would actually make things a lot easier, I won't lie. Next thing I'm doing is placing the shorts right sides together and stitching with a quarter inch allowance. Stitch up to where your fly piece is and back tack there a couple times. Clip into that seam about quarter of an inch. And now we're gonna finish off this fly piece. So we're gonna stitch along that curve there, but first we want to turn the fly piece away from the shorts and then we're going to top stitch along that imprint. Now I'm turning fly piece A back on top of the zipper and I'm top stitching along the imprint of that curve making sure that I continue from the stitch that I just finished. When I get to this end here to the bottom I am back stitching multiple times just to make sure that this stays secure and in place. I'm trimming up my threads. This is how my fly looks. It's looking really good. You can use this on shorts, pants, skirts, anything that needs a zipper. All right. Let me know how this turned out for you in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and be sure to subscribe to The Queen Pursuit for more sewing tutorials and pattern making videos. Check out this video that I posted last week showing you how to make elastic waistband shorts and check out my pattern making playlist. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.